hello guys welcome to chili Philly. today i am going to show you how to make a car animation on your screen you can see a very nice car animation and we can see on screen that there is a, a shape like car that is rot the wheels are rotating and the, the base of the car is moving forward the x-axis okay now let's see how to make it first of all we have to do something and that is the downloading of the building or the image image for building okay and we have to make this kind of uh, uh, you can say a rectangle and two squares okay now first of all you have to download any images that contain this type of building okay now how to make this kind of uh, rectangle and dot it and uh, wheels okay now i will tell you you have to just open the paint and uh, you just have to select the rectangle and you can just draw a rectangle here i have taken the size of that rectangle uh, of the width of uh, 500 pixel and the height of 200 pixel okay and for doing the rotation and the wheel i use the same and this time i have used a circle of 100 pixels by 100 pixel that means that the width is of 100 pixel and the height is of 100 pixel then i am going to the select bar and i select this and crop okay now you know this uh, silly things okay now i am just writing going to write the html and css code okay i am not going to use any javascript okay now let's go here i am using the sublime text editor for writing my code i am giving the title of car animation and now I have to link the CSS file to the HTML file and it is a style sheet so I'm here writing style sheet and we have to reference it by its name that is the car underscore animation dot CSS okay now inside the body tag I am writing a div tag I am opening it and closing it now I am giving it the ID of you can say main because it is a main div tag now inside the main div tag I am going to write image and I am going to give it ID of car and I am the source of that image is you can now I'm going to find the rectangle that I have made mm, yeah this is the rectangle and I'm going to the properties and I'm copying this and pasting here the name is card.png that we have made in the paint I'm closing it and I am just copying this to make two more wheels okay now for wheels I have a PNG file called wheel here I am also wheel writing wheel okay now it's okay in the HTML file and I'm moving towards the CSS file Okay, now for the body, I am giving the background color. No, sorry, I am giving the background image. Background image, and that is, I have already used it here, and that is this. I am copying the whole code, and I am pasting here. Okay, now what we have to do further 
now after writing this one second yeah that's cool i have to give the background size because our downloaded image does not contain any fixed size so we are giving the size of 100% and 100% it denotes x axis x axis size and uh, y axis size okay now i'm closing that comment and moving further now for the id called main i'm writing this the position i'm giving is the app is relative and i am giving it the width of 100% because we want it to go through the screen of the computer or laptop anything and giving the height of 300 pixels i am giving it the margin top of 300 pixels because we don't want our car on the top of our screen okay we just want our car to be at some margin on the center of the page overflow is i'm giving hidden because we don't want any scrolling in our page okay now the main thing is to give the animation i'm giving the animation of drive and it will last for 8 seconds and the animation timing function is linear and it will be for infinite time okay now go further now what we have to do is this we have to give the position for the wheels okay now i have to write for the wheels so what can i write for the wheels is that uh, mm, no first of all we have to give some radius to the car now for the id car i'm going to write border radius is uh, i'm going to write 30 pixels okay um now i'm saving it and i'm going to open this in the browser and you can see this there is a background image and there is a rectangle with the border radius of 30 pixels and this also have the border radius of 30 pixels okay now what is the next step now in the next step we are going to give wheel 1 and wheel 2 we are going it the position of absolute yeah we are giving the position of absolute because we want our animation or our car rotation our we want our wheels to be on the bottom of the car okay so by using the position or absolute we can give this property called bottom and this is zero pixel okay now we are giving the border radius to 100 percent okay that will create a circle and now going to the animation animation name is rotate it will last for three seconds the timing function is also linear and it will be for infinite time it will not stop after some time now positioning the wheel so i am writing wheel one and i am giving the left to you can say 50 pixels and for will do i am writing the left to 3 and 350 pixels okay now we can give the left 
property only if we have applied the position absolute okay that's why we have applied the position of the wheels to absolute okay now i'm going to save it and i'm going to show you in the browser okay now okay what is the problem mm -hmm. yeah we have not given the ids it is real one that is a major problem in the copying of uh, in data so yes you can see the first wheel it is this and it is from this is 50 pixels from the right side and this is the second wheel and this is 50 and that is 50 350 pixels from the right side okay so i'm closing it and going further now for the keyframes of animation named drive at zero percent we want to transform and translate towards the x-axis from minus 500 pixels and at 100 percent or at the end of the animation we want the animation of our transformation okay transform and we want to translate x axis to 100 percent or or at the size of the width okay now for the second animation named keyframes and the name of the animation is the rotate and at 0% I am going to write transform and I want to rotate it to 0 degree and at 100% I want to transform and I want to rotate it to 360 degrees okay now it's time for going to the browser and I'm going to save it and going to browser okay now we can see the nice animation effect of the of the moving forward machine of the car okay now I think yeah in the body I should give the overflow to hidden okay now I'm opening okay you can see there is a nice and car animation effect on your screen uh, we have made it by using only HTML and Java and the CSS curve we have not used any kind of JavaScript okay so you can easily understand it we have two animation first is drive and second is rotate and for the animation name drive it will start from out of the screen or you can say minus 500 pixels and it will it will go to the width or you can say 100 percent and on the second animation it is name of rotate and it starts from zero degree and rotates to 360 degree you can see there is a wheel name rotate and it is rotating and the car is moving forward okay so that's it for this video and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe to my channel this will help my channel to grow Okay, I will see you in the very next video.